Wiki wiki, it's time for school. Do you want to go to languages or art? Uh, languages. All right. You'd like languages with Mr. Salvatore? No, I want languages with the PE teacher. I want her to teach all my classes. All right, we went over that, didn't we? Classes anyway. will begin soon, don't be tardy. Anyway, when you complete Mr. Salvatore's class, there's some kind of Pokemon he gives you. My dear students, how are all of you today? Feeling good, I hope. What? He has like five ethnicities all at the same time. He's Afro-Latino, I guess. Then how, why are his eyes... Monoliths? He's like the only person with Asian eyes in this whole series. Jimapal oh. Salvatore! My name is Salvatore. I, I don't think that's how you pronounce it. Merci beaucoup. That is, thank you very much for your attention here in my class. I don't know, I haven't gone to his class yet. I don't understand languages. I'm so haro, or happy, for this chance to re-experience my younger days with you all. Do you know what Salvatore means? It means savior. So just imagine I'm here to save you. From, uh, from Nimona. From spooky new languages. Oh, that's disappointing. Haha, <laughs> funny, no? <laughs> that's right. My classes will teach you about various languages from different regions. You may say good morning or hello as a greeting, but may people from elsewhere may say bonjour or salut. It's salut. That's possible. I've heard there's even a popular streamer out there who mashes several languages together and says hello, hello, hola. Xiao and Bonjour. There are so many regions out in the world, and each can have their own unique languages. Gracias, merci, shushia, arigato, danke. These all have the same meaning. Can you guess what it is? Goodbye. I'm out of here. No, it's thank you. Wow! One rash YouTube, was it? Bravo, that's correct. And speaking up is important in language learning, too. Uh, I think I'm the only one who can do it, because I'm the only one who's not an android in here. An animatronic. Gracias, merci, shia, shia. These words all mean thank you. I guess some of you probably knew at least one of those. I'm not good at pronouncing Chinese words. Despite meaning the same thing, oh, their legs... I was gonna say you're, you're, I was surprised that you were, you got it pretty good. I took one quarter of Chinese in sixth grade. I, yeah, in, what was it, fourth or, I don't remember if it was fourth or fifth, but we had to take a year of Mandarin. Yeah. And then we just talked about Ni Hao Kai Lan the whole time, and, uh... <laughs> we, yeah, no, we didn't talk about a kid's show, but we talked about, like, a couple, like, Chinese pop songs that people learned for the class. Like, there was a kid in the class, and he had watched Ni Hao Kai Lan a lot. So he, he knew the entire material, and he kept bringing it up. Oh, I learned that from Ni Hao Kai Lan! I don't think that's how you pronounce your name, is it? I don't know, I haven't watched the show. And now, apropos of nothing, let me give you all of my wise words of advice. When you travel abroad, you should try to speak the local language as much as you can, even if you can't speak it very well. What is up with his hair? It's, uh... It's a part that's supposed to look like some kind of... He has a lightning bolt, he has a heart, and he has just a missing part. I think it's supposed to be like uh, Raichu, the way their tail goes off. He's a Raichu. That makes sense. That's. I'm He's sure. Your willingness to try will make the people you meet Trey Haro. I don't. Know. I don't think you, that's you how you uh, pronounce Haro. Uh, it's probably more with a U sound, but. 
honestly, from my experience, just being able to say hello, delicious, and thank you in the same local language will get you pretty far. For everything else, just pretend you're Mr. Mime and gesture away. I'm, a, I'm actually, this is a real class. Like, Yeah, this one's actually a real class. The other ones are trash. Oh, there's that pesky bell. I guess that's all the time we have for today. Well, adios. Matane. A la prochaine. See you later, everyone. A la pro... It's a la prochaine, I think. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> and there's grapes. Or eggs. It's grapes. Uh, oh, okay. I thought we were done with the class. I thought we finished the class. Okay, I'll have languages with Mr. Salvatore. Salvatore. And there's the grapes. We have to look at them for a very long time. Yeah, loading screens in this one take a minute. My dear friends, how are all of you today? Feeling absolutely fantastic, I hope. It's time for Miss Salvatore's language lessons. Et vous prêts. Are you ready, That's, everyone? <laughs> you don't pronounce S's in French. God. It's, I, uh, know, I haven't taken any prêt. French. It's a vous prêt. Something like that. You can answer with yes or oui. And it's more oui. Oh. And that say super. Um, uh, what if uh, his eyes are closed and we're just screwing around in here and he doesn't know? I'd say it's plausible. I see a picture of uh, Raichu. Raichu. Yeah, he's got Raichu and then Alola Raichu. You think uh, someone out there has translated whatever this writing system is? Like the Star Wars writing? It's a possibility. In our last class, I believe I taught you all how to say thank you in other languages, right? In Le Corps de Jour, we. Oui, Today's class. Le cours de jour, oui. That's what I said. I know. We and will then, learn about a certain word to make sure say people. You did with the right je ne sais quoi. Have, have you taken French? Yes, and my grandmother's husband was French. Okay, you read all the French words. I'll okay. just take a pause. Uh, when you use this word, it'll make people happy. What word you ask? Well, you have to guess. Delicious. How cheap? And bueno. I, that will Can anyone me. tell me what these words mean? That's obviously delicious. Yeah, probably. It is. That's uh, French for delicious. Whoa, correct. Say super. I know I could count on you, Orange Rash YouTube. Delicious. How cheap? Bueno. All of these words mean delicious. That's how I pronounce bueno, I think. Using the local word for delicious at markets or restaurants is sure to get a big Suri, I would vote A smile, that is, a from smile. whoever you're talking to. It'll make communication go more smoothly, I guarantee it. People love it when someone says the cuisine of their homeland is delicious. Who wouldn't be? Even though I eat mostly burritos. He's eating one right now. And I'm, uh, who I'm American. Who would roll? Happy to receive such a compliment. And now, apropos of nothing, let me give you all one of my words of advice. The first step to smooth communication is to compliment the person you're talking to. After all, it's not very likely that a compliment would put someone in a bad mood. Uh, no, that's, that's not how you talk to women. Women get mad sometimes. It's completely random. Yeah. This doesn't only apply to people in other regions either. It's the same for all of you, too. You can put this tip to use with your classmates. She is a Raichu. And then a mystery Raichu in the bottom right corner. That's oh, right. no, you can't see that because I'm. Yeah, there's a mystery in there. I bet it will make for an ambiance plus sympathique. Sympathique. 
Uh, more friendly atmosphere. That's all for today. See you all. Next lesson, that is. Adios. Matane. Let's see what other classes they have. The other one's art. Oh, we finished the class. Well, no. You, just, you made it sound like there'd be more classes after this. Well, that guy looks cool. Yeah, look. remember we Wait. met him at the gym. Is that the principal in a wig? No. That's Greetings. that guy who came to you at the artisan gym, the grass gym. Their art is about as good as mine. Let me show you. Yeah, so for Christmas, we went to this guy's house, and he was really cool, because he provided us with a bunch of uh, paints and canvases, and that was the activity. Is, that really is uncanny. Yeah, it, <laughs> but the art here is, uh, it looks just like mine. Did I make the art in this game? I think you did. That's... I'm saying it's uncanny. Greetings. I am Hassel. I will be <laughs> teaching this art class. It is a pleasure to meet you all. Now, let me be candid for one moment. I imagine that many of you will forget all that you learned in this class once you graduate. After all, you don't even need a basic understanding of artwork. But Okay. Much less a refined appreciation of beauty for most examples of jobs. So, in my class, is it a waste of time for you then? I think not. At least I certainly hope it isn't. Think for a moment, all of you. What is beauty anyway? What makes something beautiful? Um. I am the beholder. How attractive the artist is. The eye of the beholder. Interesting. Thank you, Orange Rash YouTube. Oh, I don't mean to suggest there's a correct answer to my query. The co important thing is that you all take the time to think about it. I have an education. I have some education in art. That is the correct answer. Think about why we might find beauty in a flower blooming on the side of the road, for example. And question why the sky is a different shade uh, of blue than the ocean, or why You're the leaves change the Ita color. That's Italian. Then he's doing it. No, he's not. He has a fist. So he's going more like this. <laughs> Ponza the windmills of Artisan and how they can move. Contemplate the chilling bite of the vassals of Kaskarafa. I'm sure that you will find every detail of your lives will seem more vivid, more impactful. If you just take a moment to stop and think. And I am certain that if you stop and truly appreciate okay, no, the little fist, beauties like, of the world. Imagine Vav, you're listening to like new metal. It yeah. will help you through the days where your studies have you exhausted and when work has dampened your spirit. <laughs> Why did they make the art teacher German? That's that's uh, that's too close to home. Ah, uh, do pardon me for waxing philosophical. You do not need to understand all of that now. He has a little cape. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he He's part of the. He's part of the elite four, so he dresses To put special. it simply, it's true that one doesn't need art to survive, but it certainly makes surviving much more enjoyable. I think he should have been Russian. And why is his name Hassel? I know, I know his name is Hassel. He's German, clearly. But I think it would have been better if he talks like that. He should have been. They should have just gone a Marx, a Marx route. Look, I just took two language classes. I know exactly where this guy is from. <laughs> it is my hope that this class will add even a little bit of color to your lives. That's all, that is all for today. Next time, we'll try a more hands-on approach to appreciating beauty. I don't want to do your hands-on class. So he teaches you terrestrializing and stuff. Why would the art teacher be teaching us terrestrializing? 
because it's pretty rocks. Yeah, I do kind of want art with Mr. Hassel. Uh, almost as much as I want art with the gym teacher. Dendra. <laughs> you remember her name. I, I remember most of their names. Hello, class. It is I, Hassel, yet again. In our previous class, we discussed what, be what beauty is, which might have been a little boring for you. So today, I thought I would, would mix things up to pique your interest in art. Allow me to introduce our special guest. Gibble! I eat the art. I bite the art. This is Professor Gibble, the assistant lecturer for today. Now then, Professor Gibble, if you would be so kind as to terra, ter terrestrialize for us. I bite the rock. I bite hat. He's got a hat. I bite flower. Now, why did the things on the side of his head get bigger? Did they get bigger, or is that just my... No, that's your imagination. Okay. As some of you may already know, a Pokemon can terrestrialize if you use a Terra Orb. Normally, Professor Gibbo would be of the dragon type, but by terrestrializing, it's succeeding in changing its type. How come the glasses creature is in this <laughs> class? And then never in any of the other ones. She only cares about art, I guess. So, class, what type do these lovely glistening flowers above Professor Gibble's head represent? Grass type, obviously. Why did you answer the water type? I don't get punished or rewarded for answering correctly, so... Did they uh, make a face and call you out in front of everybody? Not quite, on Trashutu. Actually, the type in question is strong against the water type. These beautiful flowers blooming above Professor Gibble's head show that it has now become a grass type. No, uh, hey, uh, I think that if Gibble was made of water, it would make the flower grow on top of his head. So that's evidence that he's a water type. Not quite, Mr. Orange Rush. The shape of this tarot jewel above a Pokemon's head depends on the Pokemon's tarot type. To summarize, if an opponent Pokemon terrestrializes during battle, Observe a Pokemon's Terra Jewel closely to see what type it has become. Well, that's what he does. He moves his head for some reason. And choose effective moves accordingly. It is my sincere hope that today's lecture will help you achieve beautiful victories. The terrestrial phenomenon is indeed a fascinating and deep subject to discuss. That is it for today, class. Thank you. No. Yes, sir. You both. For your help. I bite flower. Alright, so that makes us caught up on our classes. Where to now? Uh, talk to the teachers. Why do I have to talk to the teachers? Uh, you build relationships with them. Let me talk Remember. to the gym teacher. He's in the schoolyard. Who is this? That's the That's nurse? That's the nurse. I don't know what the nurse does. Have we taken a class from the nurse or? We talked to her with, uh, with Kowal. What the heck is this guy? It's a graphic rig. 
Okay. That's cool. Oh, and you can't you can see. Um Whenever I'm feeling down, I come here to take a breather when I'm feeling down about stuff from class. Nurse Miriam always lets me stay without making me explain or anything. She's so nice. So there's a giraffe rig here sleeping, but its tail is not asleep. Because um, its tail is a separate head with a separate brain. And it's looking around. Yeah. Because it's bored, because it can't go anywhere. It doesn't have control of the legs. Injured? If, if your Pokemon gets injured, you can bring them here to the nurse's office to get healed up. Can't I just heal them myself? Yes. With magic? Did you know? When you look into a Pokemon's eyes, you can tell what it's thinking. You can guess what it's thinking. What happened to her knee? I don't know. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. I'm not bothering with the frickin' place. That's sad. So I can try. Uh, Hope you come again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? I can't. What type of voice would she frickin' have? I don't know. What brings you here today? What brings what brings you here today? I don't see anything wrong with super wrong with you or your Pokemon. So she would have the voice of someone who wants you to feel good, but is also expecting you uh, to die and to expect to have to quickly reattach your arm. <laughs> That's quite right for her. She's more like she shouldn't have this job. She's not <laughs> equipped for it. Uh, okay, make her sound drunk then. <laughs> I can't do drunk. Uh. Uh. What? 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 Um, Just make what? it up as you go. You'll have lots of time to read her dialogue. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you or your Pokemon. Wait, this is your first time here, isn't it? See, what do you think's in this cup over here? Is it? There's a little cup. Uh, is it? I don't remember. Uh, yes. Just say yes. So I guess you transferred in recently. You must be Rasha, right? Everybody's been talking about you. Ah. That's what she's doing. I've heard all kinds of rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrolling in the academy. And even picked a fight with Team Star, you kind of did. Oh yeah, you've started your treasure hunt thing, right? That's right, she lives vicariously through the students. I forgot about that. I remember being forced to fight Team Star. And I don't remember any other details about this. Remember when you fell off the cliff to find the freaking? Yeah, I, I remember falling off the cliff, but I remember trying not to fight the Team Star and just walk past them. Yeah, and then you got made to fight him anyway. Come tell me about anything super interesting you find out there in your adventures. So, when I was a little kid, uh, it said that Professor Oak wanted to see your Pokemon collection. And so I would go onto the computer and talk to Professor Oak and actually try to show him my progress. And he's like, wow! You're making good progress. Oh, at the game. And then I never, like, did that after I turned, like, 11. I was like, I don't care about you, Professor Oak. And uh, when I would battle my rival, like, if he'd be down to his last Pokemon and I'd be able to beat him anyway, I would switch out and show him all my five other party members just so that he could see... 
That's so mean. Um, no, I just wanted to show him my Pokebud. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you weren't being a show off, you just wanted to show your Pokebud. Yeah, you have 200 kinds? Well, these are the guys I have. I see that you have a Katabra, but mine is an Alakazam right now, because I traded him. I'm kind of bored just sitting in here all day, you know? I don't have any classes to teach, and students only come here to skip class. Uh, would you skip class to hang out with her or no? No. So, yeah, drop by if you can. Deal? Deal. She's not married. I don't know if they have wedding rings in, uh, Paldea. You became slightly closer with Nurse Miriam. How often do I get to do that? Every once you battle a gym. So does it stack up, or do I need to do it in between every gym where it expires? It stacks up, but I'd recommend just doing it between every gym. Okay, schoolyard. What is up with these animatronic cyclozars in the background? It's all the background stuff to a certain extent. And why is Gyarados floating? Well, they can't animate it on the ground flopping. Yeah, they can. Animatronic students. How does everybody have a Gyarados? Because they went to school, so they know that about its potential. She's taller than him. Mm -hmm. Osu, new kid. Have you come out to the schoolyard for tra for some training? Yes. Aha! I knew I could see a fighting spirit burning behind those eyes of yours. Why don't we do a bit of running together here, be here to get to know each other a little ba better? Ready? Let's go! You ran three laps around the schoolyard with Miss Dendra. Phew! That really worked up a nice sweat. You've got a good pair of legs on you, new kid. They ran for five minutes for about three quarters of a mile. A good bout of training sure does make a body hungry, doesn't it? I'll let you have one of my homemade sandwiches as my way of saying thanks for running with me today. Feed those muscles. I'm just gonna put this. Miss Dendra's sandwich was dry and had an odd smell. The taste left much to be desired. I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and just thumbtack no, it to my ate wall. It. If you ate it, it'd be she. How was it? I hope it was tasty. Please give me more of them. <laughs> Sorry, I should have asked you that. <laughs> I'm athletic and all, but I don't know the first thing about making good food. As your honest reaction just reminded me. Well, uh, see you later. Enjoy your sore muscles tomorrow. I'm running for four minutes. <laughs> you became slightly closer with Miss Dendra. It's not enough. You need to cut her hair. <laughs> her hair is stupid. <laughs> what? What's with her hair? It's supposed to look like a Makahita or something. Oh, not an Oddish. I don't know, some kind of fighting type. Yeah, Makuhita would make sense. Oh no, it's supposed to look like a mile. That makes less sense. See how it drapes down next to her face? It's like miles things. So, what, like the back of her head is supposed to eat me? No. I knew you were gonna choose Hassan. So the sculpture here is far better than any of these paintings on the wall. Oh, those are nice sketches though. Well, there we go. 
There, those are the sketches. Haha, <laughs> you got cut out. Why, if it isn't the orange watch YouTube, I have a question for you. Do you find my class difficult? Yeah, yeah, I, I had a really hard time guessing what Terra type that your Gibble was. Professor Gibble turned into. A little bit, yeah. Hmm. Perhaps I need to improve how I convey the material. So, you choose to take on the gyms as part of your treasure hunt. That must mean you like Pokemon battles. Is that correct? No. Then you're attempting to overcome a weakness. I applaud your efforts indeed. Do forgive me for swinging such an odd question about upon you so suddenly. I often find myself pondering the nature of strength these days. Anyway, thank you again for your input on Rash YouTube. What did I input? I mean, you told him his class was hard. And that I hate battling? I mean, he just thinks I'm lazy. No, he thinks his class, he doesn't teach good because he thought his class was hard. I crushed his self-esteem. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> and now he's just gonna lie on the bus stop crying. What do you think artists do? Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Uh. Wait, let me set a destination. And we're going to Cortando. To get the open sky titan and then the dark crew of star squad. Or star fall, whatever. These people should be chatting with each other. What are they doing? Are their bosses mean to them? Probably. I don't know. Your Pokemon hurt? That's if they are, I can hurt them for you. This truck here? We use this truck to transport the olives we grow. You wouldn't believe how busy things get come harvest season. Now, uh, what was the zoomy button? The Y. Er, sorry, no. You, the, this. You press down on that. Okay. Or, no, this. Uh, this one. We, uh, run over the balloon. Booyah! I didn't know it had hair. Well, it does, and you took it. Oh, that was cool. I gotta do the Akira thing. Yeah. <laughs> you can... Uh, oh, you have I've yeah. never used a Mankey for very long. Neither have I, although I've kind of wanted to get one to get an Annihilate for Scarlet. Their hit points are just too low for it to really be worth it, kind of like Diglett, and its attack stat isn't really nice. It even when it gets low kick, you can't even beat Brock. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, it'll like do three quarters of it. Wait, you didn't get the item that was there. Oh, right, that's why I was doing that in the first place. What the heck is that? It's a bug. Not for long. <laughs> They're so weak. 
Why doesn't it just run from us? I don't know. I don't Pokemon don't seem to do that. Why does it bother doing a completely ineffective attack? It has to do something. You got claws from it. It's highly skilled at a fighting style in which it uses its jumping capabilities to dodge incoming attack while also da dealing damage to opponents. I don't think it was very skilled at that. Apparently not. And then it evolves into low kicks. It, it was... Now I understand Mankey coming to assault us. <laughs> It's not a grasshopper. Yeah, it's not a grasshopper for very long if that happens. And we stole its fur. <laughs> We're selling Mankey hides. I got the item though, right? Yeah. And then uh, we got jumped before we could read what it was. Yeah. What the heck is this? That's a capsicum. Or a capsicum. I've never seen this! Yes, I have, have one? You have one. You want a puppy? Uh, not really. No, why would I want it to learn Screech? You Nobody have... wants to hear that. You're very good. Okay, so momentum doesn't appear to be a factor. Uh, it is when you jump. Mm. I don't know, we'll leave it. It's a later problem. Well, we're stuck. We can't get any further in this game. Time to give up. <laughs> he does the Akira thing. Watched it. Is this worth it or no? What the heck is that's a charcadet? That's the thing that turns into Cerulege. I didn't know it had a baby. Yeah. Actually, it turns into something else. Really Why is fire flying such a good typing for this area? I don't know. I'm never gonna use this. It's just gonna be trapped. Okay, that's actually gonna do a lot. It is? Yeah, it did seven damage and it compared to like it's two damage. Oh we have quick balls? I should have just used a quick ball. I was about to say. One more time, and then I'm deciding it's not working. Shouldn't the water, the rain, put out the fire spin? Ooh, I think. Okay. You want to do this the hard way? We can do this the hard way. Turned him into ashes. What is this rain? Is it raining because of this rock? No. I want to destroy this clam. Turn him into calcium. Are you in need of calcium? Uh, I've been watching a lot of Dr. Stone lately, and they use crushed sea so shells for everything. Where did these guys come from? Are they other students, or are they other players, or are they from other dimensions? 
randomly generated. Yes. Uh, so they're imagining. Right? Hallucinating. <laughs> yeah, basically. How did my bird get healed? He was at like 45 hit points. Because he went into a terror spell by his friend. It heals you? Okay. He's just a silly little plane. Okay. Do the Pokeballs fail or is this like a guaranteed catch? Uh, it's not guaranteed. That's cool. You didn't even look to see what all your loot was. Uh, I will check my loot when it's I want it as the XP candy. Clamping onto an opponent reveals its vulnerable parts. So it uses this move only as a last resort. No. I'm not gonna name it, I don't wanna get attached to it. You just want to use it for its parts. Yeah, I want to eat it. It's food to me right now. Once I master the martial arts... I'm gonna find out what he does. What am I supposed to do afterward? Well, what are you supposed to do afterward? Oh, he looks cool. That's... He looks cool? He looks deranged. Yeah. Uh, he puts a lot of effort in those appearance. Uh, so faint is only good in doubles. Because it'll if someone uses protect, then the other guy, your partner, gets to use his other thing. Maybe you should train your Riolu. I never said I already mastered them. So did we just get like jumped while we were hiking. Basically. Hitchhiking. Can I catch a ride on your Pokemon? No. Uh, he looks mad. <laughs> oh, he has a mushroom. Oh, he does. Mushrooms are common on forest hiking trails. Yes, they are. So that's a uh, good detail because he's a backpacker. Yes. So Sorry I asked. He gave us $8 and we're not even going to give him a lift. I'm going to go ask him if he's okay. He's sad. It's easy to get places using the flying taxi, but that takes all the fun out of traveling. Oh, he he ha he can get himself somewhere. He's just choosing not to. He just wants to give us eight free dollars and not even get a lift from it. <coughs> if I win, you've got to buy my CD. 
Oh, uh, when you go downtown? <laughs> no, she's one of those people who carries her CDs around, like her mixtapes, and sells them <clears throat> to you. Yeah, that's what they would do downtown. Oh, I thought you meant like downtown as in going to the music store. <clears throat> She got the Meowth because it, she wants the Payday. But you don't even get a chance to use Payday. <laughs> Mariah. Spelled a funny way. What? No one buys CDs anymore? That's not totally true, but pretty much, yeah. You got a hundred fifty Poke Yen? Why did she have so much money to give? Because she had a because she had a meow. Like you said, it has payday. Everybody has some kind of subscription service. So true. Straightforward. What? Dang it! Where'd my cup go? Yo, Orange Rush YouTube. So from what I gather, seems like the open sky titan lives somewhere up on this mountain. But there are all these crazy boulders raining down from the mountain too. It's gonna be a little tricky to stand around and look for the titan while dodging all those. I think you'd be sent flying if you get hit by a falling boulder. But maybe you could power your way through atop that brute of yours. Says nothing when he doesn't even know if his transmission got through. Enjoy picnicking. Nothing goes. Glad to have run into you, kiddo. Here's a gift. Make sure to savor the taste of adventure. You got a variety of ingredients: prosciutto, cheese, potato tortilla, olive oil. Eating a sandwich and getting pumped with meal powers makes journeying all the better. <laughs> Care to rest those traveling feet and stop for a while since you're here? Yeah. Working hard is key, but so is getting off your feet now and then. Besides, you can't enjoy the scenery when you're always on the move. <laughs> I can't even get close. I want to get to the peak, but I can't even get close. You're challenged, but that's a student? Yeah, it's a whole guy who's taking classes. <laughs> what? His eye? Is his eye cross-eyed? No. Why is everything weak to Flitchin? Oh, it had sturdy. This calls for a quick attack. No, it calls for a flame charge. Oh, nice! nice. We beat him in one turn. Yep, even with sturdy. Enrique is about to send out Nimble. I don't know what that means. That's that little grasshopper. He throws his Pokeball here. He throws it with the dad. Okay, let's check if his eyes are crossed. You're even wilder than the rolling boulders! See, they're not. They're... Okay, maybe. I wonder if I could get up to the peak riding on a Pokemon if I just avoided the boulders. We don't need any Miss Drevis. We don't need any Miss Magius. Do you 
see that thing up there? Is it pooping? No, it's just dropping boulders. Where did it, how, where are they coming from? It just has them. <laughs> it's just like the Pokemon moves, you don't know where they come from. Yeah. They just appear in the air. Oh my gosh, it's Super Mario 64. We have to recross the bridge to get to where we need to go. That's right. Sign, which means there's one of those little guys on it. You can have the two. See, when you don't see the two cats. There. Gotta get those things. Gimme, gimme, gimme a ghoul after midnight. What the heck is that balloon? It's a tadpole. What? It's a frog! Oh, you don't have one. Uh, use the quick ball. We need to study it. We need to find out more about whatever this guy is. It's just a tadpole. Tadpole mucus? It's a frog! What do you expect? It floats using the electricity stored in its body. When thunderclouds are around, Tadpole will float higher off the ground. I'm so happy. Look at it. I'm supposed to go behind this thing. Or you're just supposed to be an adult and be good at it. Yep. How's this bird not tired? I remember this being significantly harder when I was trying to do it. Oh! Said you arrived. Yeah, we're here technically. You're cross-eyed. So that's how it's- What the heck? It's a stork? It's a stork. It literally says stork. Uh, just act. Just Terra Stalize and then Acrobatics it like five times. Bumbirdia. Do you think you've ever seen anything birdier than that? Yeah. Name one thing. I think my chicken is a pretty bird. <laughs> He's so Oh. Ah, oh, that's pretty stuff. It wore off? Oh. Because the battle was over. It's sad now. It's angry now. <laughs> it's going through the five stages of uh, grief. And now it's eating something. Now Arvin's here. Orange Rush YouTube! You managed to get to the Titan somehow, huh? So that's the open sky, Titan. Wait, is this Titan what's been dropping all of those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it has all its attention on you, little bud. It looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. Okay, stop. So, we'd better get ready to go all out. Wait, it's a Pokemon. Why do we have to follow the rules? Why can't we just send all six of our Pokemon against it? Who's gonna get mad about it? I don't know. Alright, so now Terrestalize again. Hit him with the Acrobatic. No, use it on Knackley. Use it on his guy. Trying to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give this thing a piece of our mind. Ooh. 
I think it was, uh, I think what he was saying is give it a taste of defeat. Okay, yeah, that's probably right. Because he talks in sandwich puns. That's why he has the salt Pokemon. Yes. Oh, we're screwed. Nope, not on uh -huh. you, on Nackley. Oh, because we're only, uh, we're not fire flying anymore. If we hadn't terrestrialized, we'd have been, been hoofed. No, oh, just knock out Nackley just to oh, show I Arvin forgot. that we don't like him. Sorry. It's got cartoon stink lines coming out of it. No, that's the Irva Mystica. The last guy was pink. Oh, wow, the moon. That's no moon. It's like a spaceship. Does that mean our Fletchinder is now birdier than Bombardier? I guess so. Look the title. Oh, Rasha's Dumb is about to level up. Uh, evolve. Go through metamorphosis. <laughs> I've never seen a Ralt's eyes before. I haven't either. That was cool. The cheerful spirit of its trainer gives its energy f d from its psychokinetic power. It spins and dances when happy. Where did my Pokedex go? I don't know. Yes! Way to go, Orange Rush YouTube! Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? What are we looking at? The Erba Mystica. There has to be more of that Erba Mystica I, it ate in here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. Yep, that's a concern, all right. We're very worried. <laughs> if we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. I knew it! The bitter one. He kneels to it. It really is here! This is Why one of the- Why are you talking to the cupper? Because they're in a cave. Okay. So it's going to be echoey. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. Bitter Erba Mystica. Hoo hoo! We did it! Thanks, Orange Rash YouTube! Now, let's see, what does the book have to say? Bitter Erba Mystica is great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing, and that warms you right up. Nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some, maybe my dad will love me. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for, Orange Rash YouTube? It's time to dig in. Let me whip up something for us. You seem less than nice to Yart. Hiya. Hawacha. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go. My special, whimsical, herb filled super sandwich and it comes with a side of titan badge as my token of my gratitude of course <laughs> they both it has cartoon stink lines coming off of it it's bitter Yes. Oh, come on. You again? He hates that freaking bike dog. Do you want to give your sandwich to my me ride on? <laughs> I will not take no for an answer. This Feel is free to ride. say no. Feel free to say no. I will not okay, take no too. for an answer. Yes. Huh. Is it trying to say thanks or something? 
Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely, absolutely did not make extra so that me ride on could have a sandwich, okay? He's got big biceps. Yeah. Ah! Miranon will be able to move across the water now. Did it grow stronger again? Uh, yeah. Man, those Herba Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they better, or else I'm really up the creek. Uh, yeah. Don't you dare touch that! That isn't for you! I don't want to hang out with this guy anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. Why do you think his parents don't see him? <laughs> okay, this is sad time. This is sad stuck time. Alright, let me turn on the sad music. Tell you the full story, Orange Rash YouTube. Oh, your mic isn't capturing that right now. Oh. Oh, Alright, what does he have to say? Now it's time to hear the full story. Come on out, bud. This is Mabostiff. My partner. Here you go, bud. Eat up. The sandwich should help you feel better. It's lonely now. Take your time. I should have said it's bittersweet. Because it's like sad, but it's getting better. Small bites are fine. Just chew slowly. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Have you tried a Pokemon Center? They said this wasn't any regular old injury or illness. Mabostiff here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him feel better. Whatever it takes. I think he messed up. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herbamist. Huh. What's your answer? Uh, you've done your research. Yeah, see, I found this book in my dad's lab. Wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We, we dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. Is this book full of crazy stories and legends and things? Stuff nobody'd usually believe. Oh, he has the same hair as the dog. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mudbostiv's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they've warmed. I'm sure they have. Oh, you done eating, bud? Oh. Huh, can you see? 
Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it. It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. So, uh, on another note, is his tie sewn onto his shirt? I guess so. Because it's not moving at all. But it is clearly, like, not on the same layer, so... Yeah. Good question. Oh, I'm so... I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, look at them. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. So those black parts in his eyes are not his pupils. No. His pupils are <laughs> inside of his eye. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring my boss stiff back to full health. I swear it! Oh yeah, so that's my story. Right at the end of that, that video. Very nice. Perfectly timed. Three herbs to go. Let's find them. Together. Row to toe, row to toe. <laughs> Professor or Orange Rash YouTuber. This is Turo. I detect that Maridon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. That would have been helpful getting here. Yeah. Because we had to cross that river. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Maridon. Hey, let's talk. Getting to interact with the locals wherever you go is one of the best parts of traveling. You think he's an alumni of that other guy's class? Oh, they have different uh, colors for different backpackers. The other one was yellow. Nice. It actually did something. <laughs> it got hurt more than it had to overall. Wow, you're quite the character. You gave me nine bucks. I want to run over that kid in the road. What did we just see? <laughs> took a gift from the world. Who's gonna turn out sad? That's a fairy steel. We'll just we'll just timber it. Now. now I know that it has higher physical defense, but we have lower special attacks. So I think it's going to be about the same if we flame charge as if we had. No. Okay. Now now it's going to do a little less. If he had if they hadn't done that. Hair. Do you like uh, Tinka hair? No, I don't like anything about it. You like its unnatural magenta color? I especially don't like that. I'm trying so hard, but I can't find it. I just stare into the tall grass. 
Who is stole five dollars from a child? Oh, that made me so angry. The other world. He's so happy. Okay, so Ralt has the emotion detector on its forehead. Curlia has emotion detectors on two sides of its head. And then Gardevoir has it on its chest. Oh, you should go to the Oh, and see if you can get a prize. No, just, just do it. I know you need to feel special because you look the same as everyone you know, but... Come on. Yep. Yep. I know. I... Uh... <laughs> Been having... Hello there. I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles. So far, you've defeated six trainers here in Area 1 of West Province. Once you defeat nine trainers, you'll get a lovely prize. Dang, that's not a uh, I kind of want a Swablu, but I don't want to train a Swablu. Rotototo. Blackness. All good movies start. All important movies start with a black screen. Look in your mirror. And see what it takes to make a change. Batman. Michael Jackson. Cassiopeia here. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. That's not the voice they would have. She's a terrorist. She's hacked our cell phone and she's intimidating us into doing what she wants or else she's gonna leak the information and uh, destroy the hostages. <laughs> but hostages! I take it this means you've decided to join my operation. I guess so. You're negotiating with the terrorist. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second! This is the police! The swag police! Wait, is that the principal in a bad disguise? Uh, yes. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Huh? Who are you? I am your ordinary high school student named Clive. What's up, my fellow teens? Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Orange Rash You Two? Yes, maybe. Haha, <laughs> shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star and Fats Hole. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take it, my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great. That settles it then. Oh, Clavel, Clive. I think I've heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes. What would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their roles somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads. 
and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Oh, yes. I can see them over there. On the other side of those towns at the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets. A squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the lingo. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. Someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle. They have no choice but to accept. And what's more, they just so happen to lose that battle. They must forfeit their role as boss altogether. So what, you become the boss of all the gangs, or...? Uh, basically. You just tell them to step down. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name. Oh, gosh. You just, you just set, declared war on the local gangs. No, all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So, let's say we defeat all the bosses, and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. How is that a solid plan? Uh, I've signed up for six credit cards in your name. You must, under no circumstances, check your credit score. You're gonna get a few emails. Please Don't delete them, them immediately. We can't trust you with that information. The enemy is gonna extract it from you. Each base has a bunch of... Oh, uh, I don't care. Yep, yep, yep. And then we uh, zone out and... Uh, yeah, we beat them, okay? And now that... And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I can't operate out in the open. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to submit your social security <laughs> number so that I can run a background check on you. You're a cautious one, all right. I respect that. I'll be in touch again. Yeah, she she's not very concise. Well, go get him, Orange Rosh YouTube. You look familiar. I have no idea what you mean. But if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, we, we did see a really old student recently. <laughs> He's got tiny legs. I like how dirt kicks up when we drive fast. Blackness. Every important movie starts with a black screen. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead's the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Segan Squad. I don't think that's how it's pronounced, it's Italian. Yup! And we don't take too kindly to random kids iffing around our turf. Sorry, but we don't shower here. <laughs> if you don't turn yourself around, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just a hunch here, but are you that Russia kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star. Maybe I am. Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Honesty's not always the best policy, you know. Ugh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? Uh, I'll take you on. Ugh, sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get <laughs> stomped into the dirt. She's having such a reaction. Yeah. Uh, 
do you need help there? Like, is there someone who needs to look after you? Teenagers. She's just, she just thinks it looks cool, is what you're saying. She's reacting like a prima donna teenager. Finally, something that isn't weak to a flying type. Yeah, they're all dark Wait, we know that ahead of time? Basically. Okay. It's the dark squad. They're gonna use dark types. Do we have any real fairies? Mm. No. Nah, we don't have anyone good against evil. Why did such a sassy kid have to be so strong? He got almost 10. <laughs> ah, how the heck could I lose? Well, whatever, it's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista. <laughs> that looks so weird you when still they, have it when you speed it up. How to do that? Hasta la vista. She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. Well, I'm gonna go into the base now, give the rest of the squad a heads up. We'll come at you with full force if you set foot inside, so you may want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista! Can we shoot him? No. Can we thunder wave him so that he can't make it to the base? No. Row, tow, tow, tow. So many phone calls! Yep, yep, that's what they said. Giacomo. You're telling us stuff we already know. There we Their go. Boss, there Giacomo. we go. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole th of Team Star. And he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs oh, himself. Oh yeah, they have a really good soundtrack. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. Now all you're gonna do is make me stronger. You're gonna make my Pokemon level up. No use trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. That's pretty much the way you do it against NPCs. Yeah. Just... So they're gonna throw like 50 Pokemon at you. They're gonna break it's that exact rule you were talking about earlier. And they're just gonna throw all their Pokemon at you. Alright. We're gonna sneak in stealthily. <laughs> What? That's a weird system. Why do I only get three of them? Because you're throwing them out with a certain button. I'm throwing them over the fence? No, you're running through, but... Alright, oh, do we have any... Oh, you press Y to press, to put them in the... But, yeah. So you're not actually using moves, like I said, you're just throwing the Pokemon out. So you just throw whatever has resistance and is strong against dark types. And you press Y to I, make them the lead Pokemon. How do I rearrange it any different? There we go. Uh, yeah, hmm. I think Baby should go there. Uh, some of them are mur Murkrow. And some of them are gonna be ground. Yeah. Or That's some of them gonna are gonna be poison. <laughs> he looks so sick. Careful now, Orange Rash YouTube. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button and send out multiple Pokemon. Heads up, gang! Some jumped-up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base! Oh, clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted... Oh. He's saying it on a speaker. Yeah. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokémon in the next 10 minutes, 
our boss might just honor you with an appearance. It's really funny because they deem his boss basically by if they have a car. <laughs> Which is exactly how high schoolers work. You just have your friend who has a car. And yeah, so you just press R and you'll lose all your Oh, they do it auto? Yeah. Come on. Oh, uh, this is cool. Yeah, you gotta go find all the Pokemon. Why are these guys it? cheering me? They're not cheering you, they're cheering their Pokemon. You have to go find them! You I, have a limited I time. Froze. Do you want me to show you how it's done? Are they hiding? No, you have to kind of run towards them. You need to go the other opposite. There. See, and they throw your Pokemon out. Just keep pressing R as you run. <laughs> They're all along this path. Basically. And it's a circular path. Come on. I think we're doing pretty well. Come on. Come on. Not, Wait, so they only go motion? forward? Yes. You think that's close enough? Just, Do you just think she's send smart Pokemon. enough? I'm send pushing R. Why is the Pokemon going out then? Let me see. This is cool. They've not ever done anything this cool. In a Pokemon game before. It has a soundtrack, yeah. Well, I think it's the boss battle. Oh, they send like way more than 30. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss! Yeah, I don't know how we didn't lose any hit points. What the? Did. Is he uh, in a no, parade? It's a car. It's a freaking car Pokemon. It's actually a Pokemon that he souped up. That looks like a parade float. No, it's a car. He's pretty cool. I... Yeah, he is very cool. He's a DJ. Black screen. All important movies start with Shut a black up, screen. Man. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. Orange Rash YT, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's, it's a vibe either better. way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play as you a sick wet requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! Black screens. Every important movie. Just listen to his guitar riff, okay? Starts. Oh, that was cute. It does a little spin. <laughs> you don't really think things do through, do ya? Declaring war on uh, whatever Team we Star are. Star is a bad move. Is he strong or is he not? Yeah, he's relatively strong. Oh, his guys are better than ours. This beetle bust your ears open. Oh, that sucks.
Everything on our team is weak to steel. How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, party crasher. Oh, we can use everybody. Yeah. Why did we only get to use the three? That's just for getting rid of the first huge wave. Would you drive around a car like that? I would absolutely drive around in a car like that. Me too. It wouldn't fit on the road. It would be sick as hell, though. You think it can go more than 40 miles per hour? I don't know. I think it can barely be moved out of that garage. It's designed to move about 20 feet. Yeah, seriously. So... Time to up the tempo. The show ain't over yet. I never will. Although it's actually just a car engine. They souped up a car to go around. It's an Audi show. How did it miss? Oh, I thought it was a steel type. It's not a steel type. I thought it was dark steel, but I guess it's just dark. Well, may as well intimidate it a couple times. Couple? Yeah. I'll send in Gyarados, switch them out, and then send back in Gyarados. It looks like a physical attack, right? Oh, we don't need that. We can just waterfall. I want to see the water hat on Gyarados. That it looks like it wouldn't fit at all. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. It's really fast because it's a car. Yeah. And it's really strong for some reason. It's awesome. Oh nope, it's a special attack. Here. Intimidate the nothing. Oh uh, yeah, especially in doubles. I had a team where I had a uh, Mega Sableye with Calm Mind. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it would snarl. So then it's. Uh, special defense was like off the charts because it was. And then it had Will O Wisp so it could also cut their attack in half. Oh. Uh, I don't know. It's a rock! Oh, yeah, I could have. You turned into. Gyarados. And intimidate. I forgot that it had U turn. You busted his car. Wait, so it's tummy f grass is a scarf? Yeah. Guess that's that. And now you get a flashback. Do I have to turn on uh, the sad song again? No. Are you sure? Yeah, it's happy. About a half a year ago. Guess that's that. What's up? Oh, they are cool. Yeah! Wow. They're the goth kids. Ortega, that's the fairy boy. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? 
the big boss just wanted to wanted my take on stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. That's the part. Which, which oh, one? A few plans? A few plans? Like, oh, actually no. A few plans, like, for what? Operation Star, first of all. And also, a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice! So you'll come up with some great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? <laughs> no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. He's a, uh, a, uh, theater kid. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So you all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You've learned, you've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by Giacomo I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? These headphones are cool. Yeah. I would buy those. Yeah, those are cool headphones. I'll give you this choice TM, too. You've earned it fair and square. Foul play. It uses the opponent's attack stat against them. Ah. So this is how the party ends. But let's talk about that Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy? Like, what moves you should use and stuff? Huh. Okay. You like it in at the academy? Having fun? He doesn't want me to drop out and join his game. No. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you a Giacomo? Giacomo. Uh, oh, whoa! He looks like a Murkrow. Wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make an appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style that up for you? I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure. Hello, fellow teens. I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. He talks like you. Thanks. I'll get straight to it. Seems all of you and Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So, why don't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? <laughs> so that's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal. Though we don't know if they're coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? No, he's pushing up her glasses like this. Yeah, he does that, uh... I don't know, we'll find out. They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a chop top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We'll call him the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, uh, I don't know, it must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers kept pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crashers like you do! Maybe this big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So, Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Heh, <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put it in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Because you're on the treasure hunt.
So why is there a, is this a lightning bolt or an S? That's an S for star. Oh, okay. <laughs> Row to to fits that. Well, let's just say uh, Cassiopeia is texting us, and it's more immersive if I don't read it out loud. No, about your reward. I'll transfer from life points over to your phone, as promised. Let's read the points. You earned 5,000 life points. Read the point. Took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM machines. These... Uh... You get new TMs. No. So, in the new Spider-Man movie, Across the Spider-Verse, they talk about how the M in ATM stands for machine. That's yeah. like calling it machine machine. The M in Technic TM stands for machine. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there to give you some materials for making TM. <laughs> and then it's just Penny. Oh, it, it literally is! is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably didn't, don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. Did I? That figures. I never leave an impression on people. Is that why you resort to terrorism? Yeah. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starkfall as part of my independent study. You know, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. I'm not giving you any kind of hint to my true identity at all. I wonder uh, if she knows Cassiopeia. I'm not giving you any hint to my identity at all. So here you go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Now's our chance to take her out. You don't. So. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard about you had all your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. I put the trainer as strong as you on our side. I'm sure the operation will go just fine. <laughs> There's four more squad bases left, so, um, good luck. Uh, is she gone? She's <laughs> leaving. Okay, uh, next is Lavencia. Alright, that's probably a good cutoff point. <laughs>